I discovered what the word tramming meant. A lot of the rigidity was lost just because of the silly way that I cut the bend marks on these brackets. All of the Z probes across the entire surface of it were within about five micrometers of each other. And then I used a car jack to lift up the back of the gantry. So in this video, I wanna go over some of the things that I improved on my router and then um, you know, working a little bit more with some aluminum to make uh, a kind of decorative artistic piece with my machine. I hope you enjoy. I'm Josh Whitman, CEO of Whitman Technological. Pushing on the machine, I could see that two of the brackets, or three of the brackets, had um, a lot of flex to them. A lot of the rigidity was lost just because of the silly way that I cut the bend marks on these brackets. So my dad was nice enough to cut me uh, a new set of brackets that didn't have the same flaw and I swapped those out and that drastically improved the rigidity of the machine during movement. very crude technique of just using an angle like a carpenter's angle a carpenter's square to <laughs> try to get the the z to be straight up and down and to do that i loosened up some of the roller bearings and then i used a car jack to lift up the back of the gantry Using a Z-probe pad, I measured the probe depth of different points along the bed. I added a bunch of new bolt down points and countersunk bolts that were in the middle. Um, and then I Z-probed and I used cardstock and paper to slightly raise the bed until all of the Z-probes across the entire surface of it were within about five micrometers of each other. That is 2.1 uh, or 0 0.21 millimeters thick, right? Down 
and then it was time to work with uh, tramming the spindle itself and making sure that it, it is perfectly front to back perpendicular and side to side perpendicular. And I had a nice little gauge um, that I just stuck on a 3D printed arm so that I could see what the difference was from left side to right side. We got that all trimmed in very nicely. I'm really happy with the result of it. It's not uh, like machine quality. I couldn't make aerospace parts with my table, um, but I'm not trying to, so it's okay. I'm gonna be making like casts for uh, robot pieces and stuff that are all just, it's all really crappy. You've seen what I'm making. It's not that good. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be really good for it to do what I need it to do. So having done all of that work, then I took another crack at playing with some of this aluminum. I have a friend who streams on Twitch. He's the guy who made my Whitman Technological logos. And uh, I took his logo and I cut it out of aluminum plate to make him a nice decoration for his background when he's streaming. My machine is maybe half a degree off from square between the X and Y axes. I'm okay with that. Uh, I could fix it if I unbolted a lot of bolts and just squared it a little better and then bolted it back down again. I could theoretically fix that, but um, it's so much unbolting and I really don't care that much. 
I, I made the assumption that my aluminum plate was more or less perfectly flat and it deviates by almost half a millimeter across its surface. When cutting aluminum, I 100% have to have the uh, air compressor running. It's noisy and I have to drag it out of the garage and put it on the back deck and run the hose through the window into the basement, which is kind of a hassle. But that's the only way to successfully cut with aluminum. If I'm not evacuating the chips from the channel completely, then it just doesn't work. It was all a lot of fun. I even got to have Bryce help me with some stuff, which is always really great. Um, I cut out all the parts where I was awful to him, so it looks like I'm just a really good dad, but actually, like, watching the video, I was like, man, I gotta stop being so mean. So, you know, if you didn't know any of that stuff, well, cool, you know, learn from my mistakes. And if you already knew that stuff, well, I hope it's fun to laugh at a newbie who doesn't know what he's doing goofing around. But in any case, like, thanks for sticking around, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe or hit the like button, that means a lot to me. Um, I'm Josh Whitman with Whitman Technological. I love science and I hope you do too. <laughs> cool. Alright, that was that was good. I feel like that narration kind of Come on, man. Do better. Anyway.